Okay. Dark Knight Chromatic Time. So the scale in GM my chromatic is is a uh, the lever's not working, so I can't get the sharpened notes. But here's the this G scale thing. <laughs> sharpen <coughs> excuse me the seventh but well, i have to flat the seventh because i can't, the lever doesn't work on this thing but that's uh for the c it's like so all this and the d is a. Uh, that sounds like a minor scale to me Except it has a two in it. <laughs> and that's what it is. But anyway, it'll work for this. And I'm just saying that you can get a lot of fun stuff based on this kind of thing. I'm in G. Anyway, the point is that you can have a lot of flexibility and uh, amusement in your plan by just messing around with that simple scale that... <laughs> we all know it, we all learned it as kids, the Dore Mi Fa So La Ti Da scale. Except that's got that minor sounding seventh in it in this case. But if I'm doing it just in normal C, it sounds like this. Anyway, yeah, have, have fun messing around with that scale and um, and just just try experimenting with just that that simple little scale that, and with a chromatic if you have a super chromatic messing around with different uh, notes creating that scale like that would be. But that has a minor sound too because of the um, 
the um, lever thing. <laughs> That lick I was doing there. So it's funny how like you, it, it's easy to get that when I'm doing it in this pattern because my brain is locked into that. Because like I know it comes right after the one, but when I'm trying to do it separately and starting on it. Anyway, just go to show how how much uh, muscle memory plays into uh, you know what we do with things just over and over again. <laughs> See, it's simple when it comes right after the C, but starting it. I'm messing up there at the end. Anyway, started on different different notes in the harmonica to try to get those scales down on not just the the C, it's a C chromatic, but also um, you know the other notes. You're then um, and then just practice that because it's a good skill to just to practice and and know that. Everything just sort of leads into something else, you know, and you do that. Yeah, 
that past precedent, practice it in different patterns and all that kind of stuff. And have fun with it. Okay, you all have a nice evening, morning, day, night, wherever you're at. And have fun with the grammatic. See you later.